Hey y'all, all right. As you can see, we're out here in the garage. I've been doing some cleaning and some organizing out here. And today, we're gonna be working on this guy right here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we're gonna be working on this guy right here. And we're gonna put this filler together and get, get it ready to rock and roll. And I thought it would be kind of nice to see, you know, I've got this engine stand at the 360, my 360 sitting on. I have no idea what brand this is, but I thought it'd be kind of nice to do like some comparisons between this one, which I've had for 20 years. I bought this used off of a former coworker and and now, uh, and it's been pretty darn good. So I thought I would do a little comparisons between the two of them, put this one together, and give you my two cents on it, whether it's garbage or it's great or it's, you know, terrible or whatever. So I thought, let's get started, okay? So of course, this is from Harbor Freight, and the price on this was about a hundred bucks. And yes, I could have gotten something used, but my thinking and my feeling was, was that pretty much most any of them that are used, they're gonna be well used. And I saw another guy with one of these, the Harbor Freight brand, and it was, uh, Darn good. Now it comes in a pretty sturdy box. The SKU number, if you want to buy one, is 59201. That's what they, you give them that, they'll, they'll tell you. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, before we carry on any further, I just want to say thank you so much for all the likes and the shares and the subscribes. Uh, now the channel is up over 3,383 subscribers, which is truly amazing. I'm just floored. Uh, it's really something. So I thank you all very much for that. So let's get back to the video, okay? So here we are. It even comes with instructions how to put it together, which is should be pretty straightforward. I don't think this is going to be very complex for anybody. doing quite a bit out here today just got done working on this bike for me and my daughter got done working on it and my other daughter is out there doing finishing up the oil change on her and her boyfriend's or her boyfriend's Toyota not her Toyota her and her boyfriend's Toyota so anyway all right comes with all the casters comes with the hardware these are beefy, kind of beefy looking casters. So let's get into it here. change out this light this light has just died it's been flickering for a while I'm gonna get it down get rid of it I've got a new one this that brawn light right there it's gonna go up it's just like one of these so Thank you. All right, so 
Let's get busy. Change the We got the owner's manual right here. Okay. Looks pretty good. I think it'll do a pretty good job. I think I'm going to start with this short one right here. So anyway, hardware seems to be uh, pretty good. They've already got the nuts and the washers already started on the caster. So I'm going to get a wrench, tighten this guy up in there, and the other one done. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Three quarter inch. And that's that, right there. Okay, we'll do the other one. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. All right. Um, got it bolted up here. Th this part is just sitting in that, uh, the, the upright portion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run the other bolt in there and get that going i'm just going to use a little anisees on the threads if you watch this channel enough you will know that that is pretty much my standard practice i can go ahead and tell you there is several ways i'm already seeing that this edge of stand is beefier than the other one Again, that other one, I don't even have a name brand for it. It's just probably what you would have found in the auto parts stores in the, probably the 90s or so. 17 millimeter hardware. So, which is kind of unusual. Go ahead and turn this down. Now, I will say this real quick. This is a hollow tube. There is no support structure in here. So whenever you're tightening these down, do remember that you can collapse this tube if you're not careful. So, just go on. The thickness of the, the wall thickness of the tube is pretty good. You see right there. Go ahead and throw this other caster on. Other front caster. Just a little anti-seize on that real quick. Get this 
thing done. There's a flat washer and a lock washer. I'm gonna put the flat washer down first, then the lock washer, and then the nut. Now for those of you who don't know, if you're looking at the washers, and you're looking at me like, well, what's he talking about? Flat washer, lock washer, blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's really, really simple. Your typical flat washer is well flat see like that that's your flat washer this washer that's cut in the middle and split like that at it it's unequal that's a lock washer so that's what that does that just locks the nut that locks the nut in place and keeps it from moving okay what it does is it cuts a gouge into the face of the nut right there. Okay. Real simple stuff. Okay. So we'll just move on down here. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the owner's menu real quick. Okay. Of course, they give you all kinds of... You know, there's a bolt... It goes in down here at the bottom at the base down there it's just a jam it's just a bolt that just jams in there and keeps that tube from moving out I put anises on this stuff because I want to be able to take it back apart later And I think that's three quarter. I'm setting it in there like that. It could be up here further. As a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it out just a little bit further. Not much further. Though. A little more stability. All the holes are pre-drilled, which is what you should come to expect. Now, again, when I don't want to collapse this tube, this is in right there. Okay. So there's that. Now the back bar, the back crossbar, right over here. So we'll just that up there so here's the back crossbar the two wheels the non caster wheels will go in here there we go <laughs> uh, I'm just share this little funny little thing here with you. It looks like this center hole right here is not drilled completely in the center. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it is though, but it, it's not drilled in the center of this little hub here. Anyway, looks like it comes with a little sleeve right there. And one of these bolts is what goes in there. So I'll just go ahead and put a little anises on the bolt, on the shank and on the threads and get that lubed up there for its job. I'm going to pause this 
and I'm gonna come right back and be bolting these wheels on and then this tube onto the back here. Okay? Be right back. Okay, y'all. I've got this back bar on. It's got the casters on it. You can see right there. Now here is where I think things are very different. This is a solid bar that they've welded to this beefy plate. Of course it just all goes. Right there. And it just has this pin that just locates this into place. So, and there you go. So, they've already got grease in this tube in here. And it comes with a grease fitting on it. It's installed with a grease fitting already on it. So we'll make turning that thing just a little bit easier. Let me get the camera off here and we'll show you. Yeah, you see? So there's a grease zerk fitting right there. Um, honestly, this thing's pretty beef in a lot of ways. Uh, this right here, though, is a big game changer, I think. So, whenever I want to turn it, I can just turn it to that next hole. There we go. And you can see there's some of the grease that was in that tube that came on it. And then, of course, that will just live right there. So, um... Now we got these four, oh, I got three of them here, but there's a fourth one over there. These will go on here and we'll uh, bolt on. And then you will just bolt these onto your engine. Bolt on there like that. Let me get them bolted on and I'll show you that in just a minute. Be right back. Okay, y'all. This little piece came in the hardware bag, and it was leaving me a little bit perplexed. I didn't know where it went. I saw this groove. That's where it goes. So, we'll just open that up right there. the rest of the way on but let's see let me get a hammer I'll be right back okay get that thing in the groove there my snap ring pliers wouldn't open up far enough all right so there we are that's a nice little feature never seen any of these with that it just allows keeps this from coming out now if you do get one of these be sure to put the washers out here not to back here uh, very important um, as you can see I've left these just finger loose so I can change these at will and do whatever I need to with them okay so there we go um that's pretty much it and i can go ahead and tell you this has definitely got some beef over my other one i can see several differences you can see that the wheels are 
look bolted in there in the brackets uh one thing those bolts right there don't over tighten them if you do that will be a little harder to turn but you can see here this plate is much thicker than this one yeah I mean, there's there's a considerable difference in beef right there now i'm not getting paid by anybody i have zero sponsors okay so i don't have anybody you know sway in my opinion one way or the other now i like both of these these both have really good features i do like this about this one is it has this this slot cut in it here uh whereas this one does not it just has this part that moves in here uh you know that's half a dozen one or the other you know this has got the square tube this is made like this so I mean, there are some features about this thing I really do like, but, you know, both of them have their place. Both of them are good. So, anyway, the welds on these look really nice. I think the welding, whoever done the welding is, or, or whatever is doing the welding, let's say that, they're doing a pretty good job. So, all right. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to be bolting that engine up to it and start doing some tear down and when i do i'll make a separate video for that all right i uh, thank you all very very much i do appreciate all your comments and your likes and shares and subscribes uh, that's really big really helpful to the channel i thank you so much for all of that and if you have any questions about anything you see in these videos feel free to ask always encourage that so thank you so much. God bless. Have a great one.